everyone. Today we'll be talking about molluscum contagioso. Molluscum contagiosum, it's an infection that is caused by a pox virus and it often occurs on the trunk, face, and genitalia. So this usually presents with such lesions. Okay. So within six to 12 months, molluscum contagiosum typically resolves without scarring, but it may take as long as four years. It is more common in childhood as well as early adolescence, particularly in males, and is usually transmitted at this age via skin contact and auto inoculation. That is in childhood and early adolescence, it's commonly transmitted via skin contact and auto inoculation. However, in adults, it is considered as a sexually transmitted infection. So this is just a diagram showing the type of lesions that molluscum contagiosum presents with. So you're able to say it's a raised with the indentation in the middle. So we usually refer to these as umbilicated lesions. So the risk factors for molluscum contagiosum. So it gets spread from one person to another by sexual contact. Many, but not all cases of molluscum in adults are caused by sexual contact. Since the virus lives only in the top layer of the skin, once the lesions are gone, the virus is gone and you cannot spread it to others. So as long as you have the lesions, you're infectious and you can spread it to others. But once the lesion is gone, you cannot spread it to others. People with weakened immune systems, such as HIV infected person or person that are being treated for cancer, their growth may look different, be larger and be more difficult to treat. So this is how normally the lesion appears, but in people that are immunocompromised, the lesions may appear larger and may be more difficult to treat. The atopic dermatitis is also a risk factor due to frequent breaks in the skin, and people who live in warm, humid climates where living conditions are crowded. So the lesions, we refer to these lesions as mollusca. They are small, raised, and usually white, pink, or flesh-colored, with a dimple or pit in the center. So as you're able to see, they are small, they are raised, and they're usually either white, pink, or flesh colored. You're able to see this one appears a bit whitish. These ones are pink, and they have a dimple or pit in the center. So if you're able to focus or zoom in, you'll be able to see there is a pit in the center. They often have a pearly appearance. They're usually smooth and firm. In most people, the lesions range from about the size of a pinhead to as large as a pencil eraser. That is two to five millimeters in diameter. They may become itchy, so red and or swollen. So as you're able to see, this is the pearly appearance we're talking about. So these are non-tender, small, raised, and usually white, pink or flesh colored with a dimple or pit in the center. Here the pit is more pronounced. Okay. They often have a pearly appearance. Treatment. So because molluscum contagiosum is self-limited in healthy individuals, treatment may be unnecessary. Nonetheless, issues such as lesion visibility, underlying atopic disease, and the desire to prevent transmission may prompt therapy. So generally, it's self-limited and you don't really need therapy. However, therapy is still advised because of some people, because of cosmetic reasons, others have underlying atopic diseases and then there's a desire to prevent transmission because we said as long as the lesion is there you may be able to transmit it to others treatment for molluscum is usually recommended if lesions are in the genital area so treatment physical removal of lesions may include cryotherapy so this is a procedure that involves freezing the lesion with liquid nitrogen curatage which is the piercing of the core and scrapping of caseous or chasing material and laser therapy. We've talked about three things here, cryotherapy, curatage, laser therapy. Then oral cimetidine, this has been used as an alternative treatment for small children. Then there's also topical therapy, which consists of this podophilotoxin cream, 0.5%. Then other options for topical therapy include iodine and salicylic acid, potassium hydroxide, tretinoin, cantharidine, which is a blistering agent usually applied in an office setting, and imiquimod cream. So complications of molluscum contagiosum consist of scarring, hyperpigmentation, and secondary bacterial infection. So a brief summary, incubation period of molluscum contagiosum is two to six weeks. 
On physical examination, you may be able to see single or multiple lesions in healthy patients, especially widespread in immunocompromised patients. They are usually non-tender, skin-colored, pearly, dome-shaped papules with central umbilication. And individual lesions may also be painful or prurative, which is basically itchy. They are usually 2 to 5 millimeters in diameter. However, giant lesions may be present that measure more than 15 millimeters. And these are usually encountered in immunocompromised patients. Papules contain a caseous plug. Then the predilection sites in children is the face, trunk and extremities, such as the axilla, anticubital and popliteal fossa. And in adults, the lower abdomen, groin, genitals and proximal thighs. Chronic follicular conjunctivitis, it may occur as molluscum contagious or viral particles spread into the conjunctiva of the eye. So that's all about molluscum contagious. So if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.